Hey friends, welcome to Azure Tips, the weekly show where we share some of the latest and greatest tips for using Azure. In this episode, we'll cover five new Azure tips that will help you improve your cloud skills and productivity. Let's get started. First, we'll introduce Azure Verified Modules, a Microsoft community-driven initiative to simplify infrastructure as code deployment. Infrastructure as Code, or IAC, is a practice that allows you to define and manage your cloud infrastructure using code rather than manual processes or GUI tools. IAC can help you automate, standardize, and optimize your cloud deployments and enable collaboration and version control. However, IAC can also be complex and challenging, especially if you have to deal with multiple resources, dependencies, and configurations. That's why Azure Verified Modules provides you with unified, user-friendly modules that you can use to deploy your cloud infrastructure with ease and confidence. Azure Verified Modules include resource modules and pattern modules. Resource modules are reusable building blocks that encapsulate the logic and best practices for deploying a single Azure resource, such as a virtual machine, a storage account, or a web app. Pattern modules are higher-level modules that combine multiple resource modules to create a common cloud architecture, such as a web app with a database, a virtual network with a firewall, or a Kubernetes cluster with a load balancer. Azure Verified Module supports both Bicep and Terraform, which are two popular IAC languages that you can use to write your code. You can find Azure Verified Modules on GitHub, where you can also contribute to the project and provide feedback. You can find the link to Azure Verified Modules in the description below. Next, we'll learn how to use Semantic Kernel Bot to interact with data using natural language and AI. Semantic Kernel Bot is a solution that allows you to query and manipulate data using natural language, rather than SQL or other programming languages. Semantic Kernel Bot uses AI models, such as Azure OpenAI's GPT-4 Turbo, to understand your natural language input and generate the appropriate SQL query or output. Semantic Kernel Bot integrates two features, SQL Plugin and Upload Plugin. SQL Plugin allows you to connect to any SQL database and perform CRUD operations, such as create, read, update, and delete using natural language. Upload Plugin allows you to upload any CSV or Excel file and perform data analysis, such as aggregation, filtering, sorting, and visualization using natural language. Semantic Kernel Bot can be deployed on Azure and integrated with Power BI dashboards for enhanced data analytics. Semantic Kernel Bot can also be used for various use cases, such as creating a SQL-powered Gen AI assistant that can answer questions and generate reports from your data, or using AI search retrieval to augment your natural language generation with relevant data. We have a tutorial that shows you how to use Semantic Kernel Bot step-by-step with examples and screenshots. You can find the link to the tutorial in the description below. Then, we'll explore the new in-app connectors for Azure Logic Apps. Azure Logic Apps is a service that allows you to create and run automated workflows that integrate various apps, services, and data sources. Azure Logic Apps provides you with hundreds of built-in connectors that you can use to connect to different apps and services, such as Office 365, Dropbox, Salesforce, and more. However, some apps and services may not have a built-in connector or may require a custom connector to access their specific features or APIs. That's why Azure Logic Apps introduces two new in-app connectors, Azure OpenAI and Azure AI Search. These connectors allow you to integrate generative AI capabilities into your workflows using Azure OpenAI's GPT-4 Turbo and Azure AI Search's Bing Search APIs. These connectors are secure and easy to use and support various authentication methods, such as API keys, OAuth 2.0, or Azure Active Directory. You can use these connectors to create workflows that can generate natural language or computer vision outputs, such as text, speech, captions, or summaries, based on a given input, such as a prompt, an image, or a video. You can also use these connectors to create workflows that can search and retrieve relevant information or content from the web, such as web pages, images, videos, or news articles, based on a given query, such as a keyword, a phrase, or a question. You can find the link to the connectors in the description below. Next, 
We'll dive into monitoring strategies for Azure servers. Monitoring is an essential practice that allows you to track and measure the performance, availability, and health of your Azure servers, such as virtual machines, virtual machine scale sets, or Azure Arc-enabled servers. Monitoring can help you troubleshoot issues, optimize resources, and improve user experience. To monitor your Azure servers, you need to configure Azure Monitor, which is a service that collects and analyzes data from your Azure resources, such as logs, metrics, and diagnostics. To configure Azure Monitor, you need to install the Azure Monitoring Agent, which is a new and improved agent. The Azure Monitoring Agent allows you to collect and send data from your Azure servers to Azure Monitor using data collection rules. Data collection rules are flexible and granular policies that let you specify what data to collect, how to collect it, and where to send it. To monitor your Azure servers, you also need to set up alert rules, which are policies that trigger notifications or actions when certain conditions are met, such as a metric threshold, a log query, or an activity. Alert rules can help you respond to issues or incidents quickly and effectively, and notify you via email, SMS, or other channels. We have a detailed guide that shows you how to configure Azure Monitor, including the installation of the Azure Monitoring Agent, creating data collection rules, enabling monitoring for Azure Virtual Machines, and setting up alert rules. You can find the link to the guide in the description below. Finally, we'll discover how to integrity protect your Azure Blob Storage data with Azure Confidential Ledger. Azure Blob Storage is a service that allows you to store and manage large amounts of unstructured data, such as images, videos, documents, or logs, in the cloud. Azure Blob Storage offers high performance, scalability, and security for your data. However, some scenarios may require additional protection for your data, such as ensuring the integrity, immutability, and auditability of your data, or complying with regulatory or industry standards. That's why Azure Confidential Ledger introduces a preview of a managed marketplace application that enables temper protection for storage blobs by storing data signatures in a confidential ledger. A confidential ledger is a temper-proof and encrypted ledger that records transactions or events in a chronological and verifiable manner. By storing data signatures in a confidential ledger, you can ensure that your data is not modified, deleted, or corrupted, and that you can prove the authenticity and history of your data. You can also use the confidential ledger to provide enhanced auditing features, such as querying, exporting, or verifying the ledger entries. You can also integrate the confidential ledger with Azure SQL Database Ledger, which is a service that allows you to protect your relational data in a similar way. You can find the link to the confidential ledger in the description below. That's all for this episode of Azure Tips. I hope you enjoyed these tips and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Azure tips. Also, don't forget to check out the links in the description for more details and resources. Thanks for watching and see you next time.